Hey everybody, Modern Caveman here. Uh, as promised before, I told you I was going to go through uh, and dissect uh, my survival kit uh, for you, which I talked about in my intro. Uh, real quick though, uh, I want to give you a little bit of my philosophy as far as what I think a survival kit should be. Uh, I've seen a lot of those videos out there with the uh, survival tins or, or more of the uh, Altoids uh, survival kits. I think those are great exercises. Uh, I don't want to di diss them in any way, uh, which I guess I'm going to, but uh, they're great exercises. I've done it. It really helps. It forces you to prioritize what you need uh, within a survival kit. It's something that's great. You know, you throw it in your pocket. You know, it's, it's uh, very small, very compact. Um, and it's something that I would rather have than have nothing at all. Uh, you know, it's a equivalent to saying that I'd rather be lost in the woods with this knife than nothing at all, but at the same time, I would much rather be lost in the woods with this knife as opposed to this knife. This is the Altoids tin. This is my survival kit. Um, I think a survival kit um, needs to aff is a combination of, of several different things, not just a pouch with a lot of goodies in it. And I'll try to keep this short, guys. Um, what you see in front of me is, is primarily my survival kit. This is what I have on me when I get to camp. My first survival kit is the backpack. has all my goodies in it, all the luxury stuff in it. I uh, set that down. I take these pieces out, and I'm wearing these on me. I have my fingerless climbing gloves, which I got at REI. These are, I got these probably about seven years ago. Uh, great for protecting your hands. Um, and also with a, with a uh, little compass here. I have these on me at all times. Maybe not wearing them, but I have them on my belt. Next is a survival kit, which uh, I put onto my belt, uh, which I'll get to in a second. Third is my main fixed blade knife, which this one, I'm sure a lot of you already know what that one is. It's an uh, SE, uh, SE4, or also known as a rat RC4. Uh, as well as my water containment unit, uh, which comes with, as a lot of you, I'm sure you're all familiar with, the ability to boil water in this bad boy, and set a little fire up there and all that, so you guys are familiar with this stuff. But this is, all those are my survival kit. That's what I have on me at all times. So I can collect water, I can cook, um, I can go through and make a shelter, prepare food, game, what have you, clean my fingernails, and I have something to protect my hands as well, uh, as well as to get somewhat of a source of direction. Um, but let's get to the nitty gritty because uh, lately I've been making these videos and I end up going on forever. So here's uh, the, my survival kit. Uh, uh, the, 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 the nuts and bolts of the survival kit are right here. Redundancies are in here. Uh, my survival kits are, are uh, my philosophy for survival kits is that they, not only do they have to have the ability for you to do the three major things, which is to make a shelter, to make a fire, and uh, to clean water, collect water. Which I have collecting water and something to boil it and clean it in. Those are the priorities. So without further ado, let's go through and check this, this bad boy out. So in here, real quick. Redundancies. I have another knife. This is a Radazula. I have it set up for neck carry. And I have another fire steel and a striker in here. I have a bandana. Millions of uses for the bandana. This one in particular. Uh, as I was saying before uh, about comfort levels, uh, the closest I've ever been to a survival situation is being lost in the woods. I was lost for 45 minutes. You don't know you're going to be lost for 45 minutes. It scares the hell out of you. Anybody who's been lost in the woods and says there was no problem, they're lying. Your heart rate goes up, and uh, even if you're 50 yards away from the main path, you don't know you're 50 yards away from the main path. It scares the hell out of you. So... Uh, this uh, bandana uh, is great for uh, filtering sediment out. 
uh, for your water, collecting uh, nuts and berries if you happen to be around an area where you got lots of nuts and berries around. Um, yeah, and because of its orange color, it can be used as, for signaling, put it on the end of a stick. Uh, but the thing that I really loved about this was that uh, it gives me something to read when I'm lost in the woods. Uh, keeps me busy. And the, thing why, the reason why that's good is because when you're really stressed out and you're thinking about a million things at once or not thinking at all, uh, this kind of gives you little reminders of things of what to prioritize. So it tells you various knots, uh, how to procure water, filter water, how to find your your direction, uh, you know, uh, how to build certain uh, shelters and things like that. So I thought it was a cool little nifty uh, bandana. And you can also throw it on your head to keep the sweat out of your eyes. Uh, I get about uh, 15 to 20 feet of paracord. Uh, although you already know what the many uses of that are uh, for. Um, Let's see, I got uh, ways to purify my water right here, uh, or purification tablets. Uh, just as a, as a pointer, when you buy these and you put them into your survival kit, do not open them. Keep them closed, keep them sealed. Uh, they'll stay fresh a lot longer. Once you open them, uh, they start to uh, degrade, and uh, you're just going to have to throw them away eventually anyway. So. Uh, buy, a, buy a set where you put away for a long time, buy the other set which you're going to use. So when you, if you're going to be putting them in your survival kit, do not open them. Keep them closed. Um, here we have a, another uh, multi-tool. This is an old Leatherman Wave. A lot of you uh, know what that's about. It uh, has a little saw. One of the other reasons, one of the reasons where I really like the saw isn't just for the cutting, but also because it makes one of the best fire strikers out there. One of the best. Three to four heavy duty Ziploc bags for collecting water, which I would also end up using to to purify uh, the water with and cooking. Redundancies. But I have them, you know. What can go wrong will go wrong. If you're going to lose it, you can't. If you can lose it, you're going to lose it. Let's put it that way. And here I have another uh, comfort piece, which is an additional cup, another redundancy. But uh, I could use this for digging. I could use this to uh, collect what have you, amphibians, uh, uh, you know, whatever the hell, you know, more water, aluminum foil, which I can use for cooking if I were to catch game, if I were to be long enough, out there long enough, which I hope I wouldn't be, where I'd have to catch game, I can cook game in this, I can also cover my canteen cup in order to aid in boiling.